So that was basically it. That's what we had endured during this ice storm. It was the worst one I've been through. I mean, even the damage caught that this storm caused to our maple tree, which has been around, oh, that's, that tree's gotta be a good 50 years, closing around 50 years or if not over 50. But this is the worst I've ever seen it. Yeah, I've been through several other ice storms here in my neighborhood. This is by far the worst that I've ever experienced. We did get some, I mean, yeah, we did get some damage, but by God's grace, it wasn't, at, it wasn't that worse. But one of the one of the remarkable things was what we went through as a whole, and that was well, we were we kind of were caught off guard. I mean, we actually have a generator. We neglected to actually get that thing ready, but by God's grace, we were able to get it set up. And even some of my dad's friends who weren't affected by the ice storm, in fact, he's had two friends or, and their families over in Beaverton and Tigard. All they got was snow, nothing but snow, no ice. They really helped us out a lot. And if you guys happen to be watching this, thank you so much. I mean, it means quite a lot. Yeah, I think that actually might be it. I and mean, again, if you happen to be new here on this channel, feel free to come and join the Wolf Pack by hitting the subscribe button, leave a comment and a like, I would appreciate it. I'm hoping on having this channel really grow exponentially and just to really put the chair on top of this um doug and laney i hope you guys are watching i am utilizing the tripod you guys gave to me including the light ring thank you again it, i really appreciate it yeah i believe that's about it i'm gonna be doing some other stuff this week so yeah tune in Whew. My oh my, let's say we've come out of it. <sighs> Almost out of it. <laughs> That's pretty. <sighs> oh, look at that. Enjoy to the hills and the trees. Look, it's almost all off of those suckers. <clears throat> but I'd say the damage has been done thoroughly. <sighs> so I thought I could be more thrilled. So it's more through now that the now that the clouds are gone, it's into the blue skies. <sighs> wow, looks like the driver was actually safe to drive on. Not that it wasn't before. It's more so now. It's gonna take some time for more of the residual to come off. And we are basically still without power, to our utter annoyance. So we're not going to go that far, I mean, we still got ice falling here. You know? Whew! It is nuts. This is still pretty much frozen. Yeah, it's going to take a while for us, the rest of the stuff to really thaw out. Go under the front to the other side. Ooh. Yeah, this is as bad as the damage is. This is the third day, and all around me we've got ice coming off of the trees. I don't know if you can hear it, I hope you can. 
But there's eyes coming down from these fir trees here. And the sound is just incredible. We can finally see some blue skies like even above. I saw someone's off of the the maple and the fir trees in the front. Yeah, the sound out here is incredible. This is remarkable. And it is now day two of the ice storm of 2021. This is a continuation of the lot of the video that you just saw. And it is early afternoon of the 14th and happy Valentine's Day to anyone who is with a significant other. Hope you guys have been going having a good day, but it's been a hectic one for me. And oh my goodness gracious. I don't know if you heard that, but some icers fell down on the roof. But hopefully the damage is done, and it is quite extensive. All that used to be up on the maple. I'll show you guys another angle, but this is, for the most part, all we got most of it from yesterday. And it even punctured a hole in the roof. That's the worst we've ever actually had it. But... All in all, it hasn't been that bad, and it is unfortunately raining outside, so that's why I'm doing this from in here. But the crazy bit that happened today was I thought I lost one of my fish. Which one? Malvo, my dragon scale, but fortunately he, was, he wasn't he was dead. I plugged the other two out of their own tanks, and I went to get him, found out he was alive. And right now all three of them are huddled, huddled around the fire. All three of them, from Zoran, to Claire, and Malvum himself. All three are doing alright, but their tanks are just playing cold. And parents are out right now, at this time of recording, getting some gas and oil for the, for the generator that we fortunately have. We were not prepared. But, I'm never going to get into full details on that, but yeah, all the other tanks are all empty. Two of them, the two tents, I had to clean out. I actually did some changes to Claire's tank this week. I meant to put her in a, into a five and a half gallon, but I think she likes her three and a half a little bit more. She can go around, she does laps, basically. Actually, let me show you guys the other damage from the other room. Uh, let's see here. So that came down this morning, around after 9, I believe. And this is how much we've gotten. And it's mostly from the maple tree, the fir tree, that bit there. That's actually from, roughly from the top. So, yeah, quite, quite extensive. And even our neighbor's tree suffered some major damage. It fortunately did not cause any power outages for, this part, for the power line up front. Uh, let's see the... Let me show you out the back. And that's... It's not too bad like yesterday. But hopefully when it stops raining I'll do some outdoor footage, but even our neighbor's tree in their back, I mean, I'll show you as best as I can. It pretty much split. And there was a power line there Connected to the shop, but fortunately, he was able to clear out as, as much as he could. But yeah, it's been a crazy endeavor through all of this. But but by God's grace, we've been able to not really suffer that much damage or really anything harsh. Anyways, I mean, aside from anxiety from both me and my dad, worried about which limb was going to come off of the maple tree, but most likely we might cut it down. Might. I don't know for sure. 
a cell healthy tree, but after this winter snap, I don't think I will be I don't think I'll be too surprised if we decide to get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, I should probably show you the the vine maple over the pond. That thing has been heavy with ice for like three days, like two and a half days now. That's how crazy it is for the vine maple over the pond. It's it's buried in there under snow and ice. This is the vine maple. There's, I don't know, three clusters in there, and it's basically heavy and, co and compact with ice. As you can see there, my rig has been completely de-iced. I, mean, I spent a good couple of hours basically getting snow and ice off of it yesterday. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy out there. And again, I'll do a video once it stops raining. I'll probably show you guys more extent of the damage. And I believe that's basically it, so I'll give it to myself. So hand hand I'm sorry. I'll hand things back over to myself in the future. Yeah, take a look at this everyone. This is what happened. Last night, basically, I had an ice storm here last night, the first time in many, many years. It was pretty, pretty bad. Especially with the amount of damage that we got here in the front, I uh, could have very well imagined that the places are far worse. And there is where that branch came off. It was pretty scary, especially the fact that my room is right there. Anyone to be quite fortunate, anyone who has survived, and it's pretty sure y'all have. Even our neighbors are provided here. We're not so lucky either. And the amount of trees that came down keep coming down. Oh, it's just an automobile. Even the trees back here got packed down with a lot of ice. Parents cleared that out. So we can actually walk around. The vine maple around the pond. And one of our plants. Give my rig got a nice coating of ice. The newer fire pit. I'm surprised these plants look really, pretty new with a sheet of ice on them. Yeah, as of recording this, ice is beginning to thaw. In fact, this is really thawed out exponentially. Yeah, even my face is really starting to feel cold. I was able to bust open the door on the driver's side. I think something that's rather interesting. The icicles on this stretch, and then you don't see any here. There's actually a reasoning behind that. And that right there is the secret. Quite neat, actually. There's a reason behind that. It was all because of, I believe it was heat, according to my dad. Prevented the icicles forming. So you got this crazy going. 
Harrison, what are you doing, bud? Bud, I'm gonna get your bud. <coughs> gonna get you. <coughs> I'm gonna get you. <coughs> gonna get your bud. <coughs> and there go some more branches over yonder. <laughs> oh, and the new shed, too. Thank God we got the roof on just in time. <sighs> Even though things are starting to thaw, it's so pretty cold, my hands are getting numb ish. And of course, thankfully, we got this up as well for the airstream. Quite fortunate. That's my dad's truck. It actually looks kind of cool. The silver color with the icicles. I actually dig it. It's pretty cool. I think, fortunately, our hens and our, all of our chickens are doing a okay. I don't think it got that. You probably heard it more than you saw it. Even all the roosters are, fortunately, hopefully they're doing a-okay. Bart again. Do you know okay that big guy? And it's Willow in there. <laughs> First time I'm actually showing these guys. All three are all silky roosters. And this one's Gus Gus. Actually, no. That's Mart again. And this one's Gus Gus. Not bad. We did have laying hens here, but we sold them to a really nice place where they are get their free range. But dang. This is crazy back there. There were trees here before, but they came down during the windstorm last September before we had the wildfires. In fact, it's the most ironic from a health pandemic to wildfires, and now we're dealing with ice. You know, we did have fires down south, but we were hardly affected, only mainly the smoke. <laughs> Bless me. Yeah. Oh, sizes I feel like they're kicking in due to the cold. Oh. <laughs> Wanna let some birds seed out for the little guy for the little birdies here. <sighs> yeah, things are thawing out. Our power has been out since last night as well, and a lot of other people as well. I guess it's only going to be by chance I've actually managed to encounter seeing any branches coming down. Yeah, they came down in that general direction, the last ones did. You guys might be able to hear, I believe you guys might be, might be able to hear better than actually being able to see it. We had quite a lot of craziness over the past 12 plus hours since last night. <sighs> I actually went driving in this yesterday before the ice hit. It was actually rather fun. Rather fun indeed. Yeah. Just a number of trees just coming down. Scattered areas. Harrison! He's quite frankly the only one that's been enjoying this quite a lot. Acting all squirrely and stiff. Yeah. 
almost want to go for almost go for a drive. The roads are pretty much rough, relatively safe, but I have to get past all this. This came from this from a plow truck that came through. It's lumpy and slippery. I may have to bring this segment to an end. Not to yeah, I'm going to pretty much leave you guys off here, so I'll give it back, hand the mic back to myself after this. So tune in. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the Wolfman. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm just going to apologize first on on delay in videos. This past month has been really crazy, especially weather-wise. I mean, in fact, this is what this video is going to be on. Because this last month we went through a winter storm and it was by far, as far as as far as my concern, it was the worst one I've ever experienced living in my neck of the woods here in Oregon City. And anyways, the neck the following clips are going to be me going up and going around our going around my property basically during the during the ice storm for I believe I got at least a few days worth. Uh, video recording. I mean, it was utter crazy. I mean, yeah, we our power was out for maybe a good three days before we got it on again, and yeah, I actually almost lost one of my fish. I thought he was dead due to the cold, and I was able to save the other two, but he was faking it. So, to my utter relief, he is fine. Which one was it? You may ask. It was Malvo. My the first one I started. Back a few, back well over a year ago, man. He's fine. Zoran's fine. Claire's fine. The yeah. Um, just to give you guys a quick heads up about what this month is gonna look like, I got some videos planned for yeah you know, for the whole roughly for the whole month. I got a I got a special project going on right now that I actually just as of recording this March first. Happy March, everyone! I'm so glad that it is another month of this. Crazy year. I got another project going on basically right over here. I'm not gonna show you. It's gonna be dragging on for the whole week, basically. And I hope that y'all will turn in to tune, tune into that. But for the time but other videos I'm gonna be doing this month are gonna be Lego reviews, like the last one I did, which was on the UCS Star Destroyer. I'm gonna be doing other ones, including the newer version of the Lego ATAT. And a few other ones, including the speed build of the Knights of Wrenchup and even Anakin's Interceptor. I'll be doing reviews on those for this month. And I think that's roughly it. But I definitely got a neat project going on. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're new here, by chance, at any time you come across this channel, uh, I welcome you. And if you want to join, if you want to come join the Wolf Pack, hit then hit the subscribe button down below and yeah, tune in for, tune in for um, random stuff, at least for the most part. So without any further ado, these are the clips from the ice storm of twenty twenty of February twenty twenty one. Oh, I even forgot to mention. Remember, Jesus loves you more than Elmo and Barney, and I will see you next time.